Grand Clochon, you're gonna get 10 chefs, 10 pigs, one crown. This is the Super Bowl swine, all for one thing, heritage breed pig farming. They're all gonna be cooking the three best bites from their city, representing an amazing farm from their state. They present the judges, 500 guests. The score is then collected and we announce a winner. And that winner will become the king or queen of pork. It's an amazing event here at the Viceroy Hotel in Snowmass. It's a beautiful part of Colorado. And inside that building right there are some of the best chefs in the country. And all I smell right now is delicious pig. 30 bites. Then we've got a Manhattan bar, Breckenridge Distillery. Then we've got wine bars, cured meats. We have a dessert pop-up. We've got a cheese bar, a butcher demo. This is the most epic pork event that I know of. cooking pigs. We came from Boston and brought with us a red wattle from Round the Bend Farm. Cooking Berkshire pig from uh, my farmer Ava at Plowshares Community Farm. A heritage breed hog is, is a very specific breed that has its own characteristics and flavor. Species to species varies in terms of fat, marbling, color of the meat, texture. And there's different species so We've got large blacks, red wattles, magnolitzas, berkshires, tamworths. It was almost lost. Americans favored lean pork. I mean, bottom line, heritage breed pork is just better than any other pork that you can get. When we have a relationship with somebody who directly produces stuff, I can pick up the phone and say, listen, next couple of pigs, I have this idea about what we can feed them to really you know, manipulate the intramuscular fat development or really kind of like highlight the flavor. You just can't get that kind of relationship on an industrial scale. I think giving people back choice when it comes to flavor in food is important. And I think more important, this is, this is not talked about anywhere else but at Cochon 555. Everyone talks about the farmer, but the next sentence that I like to talk to people about is what that means to the local economies. Sustainable eating means keeping families and processors and farms and restaurants alive and starts to get fair price for real food. This is flavor. There is nothing wrong with better food, better pork, but it costs an extra penny. And when you see it on those menus, you got to buy it. James Beard said, you know, food is the common ground. The most interesting and wonderful people in the world, I think, are the people who are growing food, who are growing animals. And knowing who those people are makes what you're eating that much more interesting and wonderful. We've spent the last hundred years uh, condensing our food distribution system and uh, creating very big farms where everything sort of tastes the same. It's part of the social change, food justice movement at large, that I think we're in the middle of. I think it's a 30-year movement, we're in the middle of it, that will start to break down food creation and distribution in this country and return it to a more local setting. This is what we're putting into our bodies. I mean, it's our fuel. So we're looking to like, not only feed ourselves well, but we want to give our kids safe, healthier food. Grand Cochon to me is a movement, right? The underground is way bigger than the surface. Cochon 555 is the kind of food event that actually changes the way we look at food. A delicious party. Community. It's just a, you know, it's a complete celebration of these, these incredible animals. The idea behind Cochon Voy 5, Grand Cochon, and the Cochon US Tour is that we're trying to bring the conversation of healthier, safer, better eating to the tabletop. We've got farmers who put every single bit of energy into these amazing animals, the chefs who are putting every single bit of extra attention and detail into their food, into their plates. Two people who really care about what they're doing and they want to give their consumer or their guest the best product possible. So when you look at heritage breed pigs, you're talking about just basically saving family farms. Just look at the awareness for the farmer and the chef and their relationship to pork and what that's done for sustainable eating, economic sustainability, environmental sustainability in all the communities that the Cochon has gone through. I think that's really admirable. As a trajectory for the Cochon US Tour, we're trying to develop a conversation to save and promote not only heritage species, but also preserve family farming. Drum roll.
2015 Grand Cochon Champion. King of Board goes to...